Tony Scar with BNet TV. We are here at Mobile World Congress for 2013 in Barcelona. I am speaking with Mr. Rob Rowe from AirWatch. How are you today, sir? I'm great, Tony. It's fantastic to be here. Just an awesome uh, event for us, Mobile World Congress. And I think as we were discussing, over 70,000 people, and I think they've all come to our stand this week. It's just been outrageous. You've got a, a fantastic stand here. It's uh, it's beautiful. You're right across from some great uh, some great companies here, Intel and Ford. Uh, you know, just as a comment for an ecosystem like ours, you're a veteran in this industry, to see a company like Ford at a Mobile World Congress, this is their second year here, but you can clearly see the expansion of this ecosphere and how it's working. Technology is everywhere. The consumer needs, wants, has to have information and data at a constant basis. For all the viewers out there at BNet TV, tell us a little bit about um, AirWatch and what you're doing here at the Congress. So what AirWatch does is we do mobile device management as our base, but what we're rapidly seeing is that grow into application management, content management. And your comment about Ford is absolutely correct. You know, there's, there's really getting hard to define what is a mobile device these days. I mean, a car is absolutely a mobile device. It now happens to be a smart device. So instead of talking about either, you know, Apple iPhones or Samsung Androids, those sorts of things, maybe we start talking about smart devices as cars. So we're just exploring all of that area, managing first of all the mobile device that we know and love today, but then looking at how do we expand that out. And some of the conversations we've been having today or over this week are actually being with people that Everything from garage door openers through to, you know, wireless hotspots and all that sort of stuff as well. So it's just been pretty awesome. I'm glad you brought that up. I wanted to get into the M2M market space. So uh, about two years ago at the 4G conference, we had a sit down with some of the GSMA uh, folks and uh, Tom Brand from... Um, from the Wi-Fi Alliance, and we talked about the M2M market. They had just released a report, and they had said that approximately by 2016, the, the market space was gonna look like approximately 14 billion M2M devices. I think that you can see out here on the floor today with people like Ford, that that figure might be a little conservative now. Look, I agree, I agree with that. Um, and it's hard to know what the right figure is going to be going forward. Some things got to fall into place, especially around the machine to machine. What we're actually starting to see is is mobile device to mobile device. Of course, the consumer's doing that now with uh, Find My Friends and all those sorts of things. But we're starting to see that into applications now where you have job scheduling, where staff can actually auction off their own shifts to each other, etc. It's just another step into the machine to machine. To really make that happen now, we've got to start getting some standards into that space. Now, at AirWatch, we've built a whole bunch of uh, APIs, application programming interfaces, and that's what's needed to actually interface back into it. And that was the conversation we had with the provider yesterday about how do we start linking our APIs into their APIs. And we actually have uh, partners on our stand here, you know, wireless uh, providers, and that's what's going on right now. So actually, they're talking to the AirWatch management console to know whether to let that device into the network or not, or if it's a BYOD device, to so let it in, but give it these rights versus these rights. So you led me into my next question, which was perfect. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Which we is didn't rehearse this at all, <laughs> no, did we no, not, not, not at all. It's kind of nice to have someone to speak with that can do that. So my next question is going to be: So you know. Would was this the component that was missing in the ecosystem between the either the M2M -M device or the device uh, sphere as a whole and the cloud-based uh, or, or the, the end enterprise uh, uh, machines themselves? Is, is that management of the cloud-based solution, was that the piece that was missing and is that going to propel the economics for the next few years? I think the piece that was missing, which AirWatch has now developed and put out there, is that ability to be able to connect to different platforms out there through the APIs. Uh, and so we're seeing that immediately now into the wireless hotspots, the wireless you know, network access controls, that sort of stuff. With machine to machine, it's got to get there, and we've got to go through and build and those standards out there. And of course, I'm not uh, big, I'm not full time into MTM, so those guys are M2M, but those guys will be telling me, oh, we've got it, and all that sort of stuff. We'll just build the APIs, and that'll really make that start to pop. So that number in 2016, I agree with you. I think it's going to be light. So Rob, what was your announcements here at MWC that have flabbergasted the community? So here at MWC, we announced a $200 million capital raising, our, our round A. Uh, kind of so drinks on Rob for all you TV users. Okay. <laughs> 
Um, and, and that is flabbergasting, thank you very much, uh, for a round eight. It just shows the strength of the organisation, strength of where Alan De Beery and John Marshalls led this company. And look, coming from, I, I run Airwatch for Australia and New Zealand and we don't sleep, you know, it's just right. going so fast. Uh, and, you know, I think that's now been, uh, you know, validated by such a large round A f funding. It gives us the wherewithal to take it to the next level. Okay. So finally, Rob, my last question is going to be to you. Where do you see, from a geographic sense, from a geo sense, where do you see the biggest growth sector for AirWatch being? Let me answer that in two ways. The biggest growth sector in two ways. The, we've only just started in the in the developed markets. So I talk about you know the first stage of all this was well, how do I get these devices under management? How do I put governance in place, etc. The way that's coming behind that is applications. So we're just seeing a huge growth in applications this year. I think 2013 is the year of the application on the device. It's the year of using them for content as well. So a customer of ours in Australia, they before for the holidays rang us up and increased their number of licenses by five times because they've put an app out to their delivery drivers and suddenly everyone's running around with a smart device. So I think there's a lot of growth in the develop in the mature markets already, you know, in the US, in EMEA, in Australia, New Zealand. Look out Asia. Look, look out Asia, right? We're talking about half the world's population there. They love their gadgets, right? They love their gadgets. Uh, and it's, it's, it's all sorts there as well. So, you know, you definitely have a, a whole range of Apple stuff, but you also have all the Androids out there. We're seeing a lot of interest in Windows 8. So early days in that space, but we're seeing a lot of interest there. But we've just opened offices in Hong Kong, in Singapore. I actually have in our office, we have every, every Asian language to support there for technical. So we cover Japan, Korea, Taiwan, Mandarin, uh, Indonesia, Vietnamese. The only language we don't have right now is Thai. So Sawadi, if anyone wants to come out and, and talk to us. So uh, I think apps in the, in the developed markets, look out Asia for the rest of it. Well, thank you very much, Rob, for taking the opportunity to speak with us here today at MWC. Hope we get a chance for an update again in the future. And for the BNET TV uh, users, if you are Thai or speak Thai, clearly there's a job opening with a new capital raise. Thanks. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much again. I am Tony Slar here in Barcelona for at the Mobile World Congress with BNET TV.